today I would like to introduce you to a viewer's uh, project that he's uh, working on and making. Uh, so this is Paul's, and he, he's called it the Dragon Tamer, which I thought was an apt name for something that uh, controls the Chinese deal here, because, well, it's Chinese, so it's a dragon, and tamed it because it's kind of a controller. This is all, this is a beautiful box he's made out of, uh, uh, did you see it was resin, it must be resin 3D because it's, well, it's kind of mostly clear and see-through, but it doesn't have that usual 3D printed uh, thing. So, inside this box, I'll take off the lid, that's a little, other little box that attaches to said lid. It is an, uh, an ESP32 Arduino type uh, controller ECU thing and that is a temperature and humidity sensor. I'll read out all the bits in a minute um, and that is there's a transmit and receive module uh, to do the communicating with the diesel heaters. So the way this works is it mimics one of these remote controls. So its basic control functions are on, off, up and down. And the rest of the control the control is controlled by how much you code into it, depending on what you want it to do. At the moment, it's controlled by a Bluetooth app. So you Bluetooth connect to this, uh, the ESP, and then you control the app from there, and you can just adjust the temperature settings and the humidity settings. Basically, you can have the, the heater turn on or off at a set temperature, like a thermostat, or on and off at a set humidity, like a humidistat, and it just turns it on and off. Right, let me move that over there a little bit and give you, show you the bits that are inside that box. Once I find my phone, because I can't remember the names of all the bits. Right, so the main bit is uh, an ESP32, one of them, and a development board that all the bits attached to, so you've got that. And then you've got the, what is it, the DHT22, uh, and that is the digital thermostat and humidistat, you can see it in that bag there, so that's that bit. And the other bit is a 433 MHz RF wireless transmitter module and receiver kit, which is that bag of bits there. And you join all that together on your um, development board and add uh, Paul's code onto it and that's you, you've built your uh, own version of the controller. I'll put links to, uh, he hasn't shared the code via Bitbucket or uh, anything like that or GitHub, so I'll upload it to my Bitbucket so you can download all the files and bits from there and uh, the app and whatnot and then we'll see if uh, what we can, as a community, can perhaps do. As I said, Paul was just doing this as his own sort of personal project and just wanted to see if I wanted one to play with, and I do, and I really like it, which is why I am sharing it with the rest of you in case that you also want to make your own and find it interesting and perhaps have a use for it. I'll link uh, Paul's own website in the comments. It's not a website to do with electronics, it's to do with his own business, but I thought I would share it with you just in case anyone was interested in uh, fences or decking or anything like that. And, well, if you want to contact Paul, then, but please, please don't harass him too much. As I say, this is just a personal project. This isn't uh, commercially developed for sales or anything. This is just uh, something to play with. Now, we saw it working in the tumble dryer, uh, the diesel heater tumble dryer video that we made previously. Obviously, because this is, like, basically Arduino controlled, we can get this little unit to basically control the whole tumble dryer if we wanted to. I, I'm, I'm having I'm having visions of also other things this being able to do. Being able to detect the temperature and then depending on what you want it to be hotter or colder, it could turn the diesel heater up or down and say like turn it up and then wait five minutes to see if the temperature has gone up to a set level and if not, turn it up a bit more. Uh, and conversely go another way if it gets too hot it can bring the temperature down wait five minutes see if it stabilizes 
If not, bring it down again, wait five minutes. All these sorts of things and all just in the code. Was, once you've got the hardware sorted out like Paul has, we're just telling the diesel here to turn up and turn down and turn on and turn off. Turn off. And, and it's brilliant. I think it's, it's absolutely fantastic. The humidity uh, thing, that's that... I suppose that's kind of really uh, tumble dryer specifically rated because I'm not sure you need your diesel heater to turn on and off normally uh, with regard to humidity. You might do. Uh, maybe in your camper van for your drying room if you wanted to do it that way. You could put your stuff in your camper van drying room with one of these boxes in the walls. Uh, obviously turn the heater on and then humidity disappears away up and you can leave it running until the same... Uh, it detects the nice low humidity once all your stuff in your drying room's dry and it can turn the diesel heater off for you and you don't have to uh, worry about uh, forget to turn it off or leaving it on unnecessary. As I said, I'll share all the code and whatnot. Uh, you, can go and, so you can go and download it and fiddle with it and come back. Please come back and share any things or changes that you've made and we can play with it and test it more. Because, well, we'll play and test it more when we do more tumble dryer things because we could get this whole thing as I say to run the tumble dryer this could run the motor depending on whether if we keep it simple for people that want to con convert their own tumble dryer I don't even know if it's an AC or a DC motor that's in the tumble dryer at the moment I'm expecting it to be just a plain AC motor which isn't uncontrollable from here we could we can get electronics that will be able to control the AC motor and uh, perhaps even make a sideline project of just a pure tumble dryer controller with all these bits but it's very interesting and I'm quite excited to see if we can progress it further and make more interesting things together all of us as a community the whole group because to me this is magic uh, basically uh, I can't write in code I'm absolutely awful at it but I'm good at going through code and roughly understanding which bits do what and what bits need to change to do things that I need them to get them to do. So you can fire code at me and I can look at it. Uh, so any comments, questions, leave them in the comments and questions and I'll try my best to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.